Folds. Folds in glaciers are similar to folds in most other substances. They are recognizable because they involve visible planar features, which in the case of glaciers are chiefly foliation planes and morainal septa. The Saskatchewan Glacier affords an exception in that it displays a large fold nearly one mile wide and several miles long that involves a sedimentary layering inherited from the accumulation basin. The inclination of the beds in this fold is gentle and it is an outcrop pattern on the glacier surface rather than the three-dimensional relations that attracts attention. The structure is something of a puzzle for the inclination of the beds is just the reverse of what would normally be expected from flow relations within the glacier. Much smaller folds involving either stratification or foliation are locally abundant along the margins of the Saskatchewan Glacier. The lower reaches of some valley glaciers display large-scale folding of medial moraines. In some instances, these are the product of spasmodic lateral thrusts by rapidly advancing tributaries. But in others, they seem to be related to intense compressive flow. This occurs where the glacier has become much thicker in order to develop a surface slope adequate to carry it across a gentle or reversed reach on its floor. Some of the most spectacular folds of this type yet seen are those of the Malaspina Glacier. The Malaspina rests in a basin extending at least 700 and possibly 1,000 feet below sea level. Over much and perhaps nearly all of its journey across the basin, the ice flows uphill on a floor sloping back toward the mountains. This, plus a high rate of melting, causes it to undergo strong compressive flow. Folding seems to be the principal way in which the glacier responds to these requirements and makes itself thicker. These structures give all appearances of being flow folds, although there is abundant evidence of at least limited slippage on planes parallel to the axis of the folds. Have a great day.